Now let's talk about the solenoid. A long closely wound helical coil is called a solenoid. A section of stretched out solenoid is depicted over here. This is a solenoid. The magnetic field due to the solenoid is the vector sum of the magnetic field due to current through individual turns of the solenoid. The magnetic field associated with each turn are almost concentric circles and hence tend to cancel between the turns. At the interior midpoint, the field is strong and along the axis of the solenoid, the field is parallel to the axis. For a point uh, such as P, the field due to the upper part of the solenoid turns tend to cancel the field due to the lower part of the solenoid turns, which is acting in the opposite direction. You can see from here it is going up, this one is going down, so it is cancelled here. Hence, the field outside the solenoid is nearly zero. Now, we'll talk about right hand palm rule. So, this is your right hand. Based on the right hand palm rule, the coil is held in the right hand so that the fingers point to the direction of the current in the windings. The external thumb indicates the magnetic field. Further moving the field along AB, A to B, BB, considering from A to B, it's B, that's magnetic field. Thus, the relevant length of the amperian loop is L equal to H, where N is the turns. The total number of turns is n into h. The enclosed current I is equal to I into n into h where I is the current in the solenoid. So based on ampere rule Bl is equal to mu naught into I. So Bh equal to mu naught into I into nh. So, on a whole, the magnetic field is equal to mu naught into n into i. So, Bl is the low magnetic induction here and Bh is the high magnetic induction and i is the enclosed current.